actionnews.com. There's an old firehouse in Ruskin that hasn't been in operation for years, but there are still people inside making a difference. ABC Action News reporter Robert Boyd shows us how they're rescuing a local art scene. From the outside, it still looks like an active fire station. But when you take a peek inside those big red garage doors, you're not gonna see firefighters. What you are going to see are members of the community taking one of dozens of art classes. Painting courses, acrylics, watercolor, uh, figure drawing class, it could be theater, could be poetry. We do poetry workshops. We have music nights, live blues, jazz. Executive director Chris Bredbenner said, up until 2013, when the hook and ladder moved out and the nonprofit moved in, the people of Ruskin were severely lacking a creative place to call their own. A great opportunity to showcase art and culture to the South Shore and provide audiences with an experience that they don't have to drive into Tampa or St. Petersburg or Sarasota. The firehouse was perfectly equipped for the cultural center's needs. Lots of room and lots of character. So this is our classroom space. This was the bunk room. This is where the firefighters slept. They had their lockers in this room. They even maintained the fire station's old radio tower. WPHX 101.9, it's a low power FM station. Around every corner, the station's rich history is recognized. This is actually the table that they would have their meals at. While outside, murals have been painted on each side of the building. That's a really fun thing when children are here for field trips, talk about the fire trucks in different parts of the world. And just like the firefighters that came before them, the Firehouse Cultural Center offered their own source of heroism in 2020. We offered this up for food distribution sites, and several groups gave out thousands of boxes of food. In Ruskin, Robert Boyd, ABC Action News.